Hey everyone, Shakra is here and welcome to my new series called Pro Kale Breakdowns where I'll be watching some pros play Kale, either on solo queue or tournaments and I'll bring back the mistakes they make, what they can improve on and what they did well. So first on my list is Forbiven from Cloud9 Europe. I decided to include this one because Forbiven added me to ask about Kale tips and because he improved at a very fast rate. Now, the other reason I chose this one is because of the Kale vs Yasuo matchup. Kale is, without a doubt, one of the best picks to deal with. So, on to the game, and right now you're seeing the first mistake that uh, Kale did, which was she didn't flash the Vault Breaker. Now, this play could have been worse if it wasn't for Ku here, getting the kill back. Amazing play by Ku. Uh, but yeah, big, uh, big mistake there. You should always flash that Vault Breaker if you know that... Uh, they c the enemy mid laner can jump on you because Kale is kind of squishy. More about the Yasuo versus Kale matchup, and you see how uh, he used the Q while Yasuo was dashing, so he can't wind wall, and then you just straight out trade with him. It's pretty easy to trade to Yasuo. You just uh, trade with E. He cannot block the E with wind wall because it's not a projectile. So uh, nine minutes thirty seconds in. Uh, reason gaming for uh, go for the invade on blue buff that Q actually steals and here Fabiffin gets caught but look at the ultimate beautiful his ultimate actually just blocked both Yasuo's ult and Vi's ult uh, he still died to ignite but his team did catch up uh, two easy kills uh, and one of them was actually for no both of them on Q but uh, after this kill, since the jungler is dead, they can transition and get a dragon. So that Kale ultimate allowed her to uh, withstand most of the damage, and at the same time, both Vi and Yasuo used their main damage abilities. So it was a really good ult that negated a lot of the damage and allowed uh, Cloud9 to get two kills for one and a dragon. Okay, team fight time. Uh, now here you need to notice Kale's preference on the damage, on who she wants to kill. And then you have to look at uh, who she ults. Now, uh, starting the team fight, Ku's in the middle of everyone, and uh, Kale tries to kill Nami, and then she ults Lucian. That doesn't take any damage from the Vi Yasuo combo. Now, here Kale flashes in, gets the kill, and I actually want to repeat this play because it was a really nice play that gave um, Kaonine a lot of an edge, although they already have a, a 7k gold lead. Uh, it just it just got further uh, further enhanced by uh, Kale's good ultimate and uh, good team fight in general by the team. Now, right here. So she goes for Nami, and then the moment uh, Yasuo is going to ult uh, Lucian, she ults him. So no damage uh, done really by Vi and Yasuo. Uh, Hyarnan just uh, tanks it all up with Kale's ultimate, and then Kale gets Kale gets a double kill. It was a four for none. And uh, they go for Baron and they get a quick Baron. Now, a late game Kale is a monster, as you know, and none of these champions have MR. So, Kale is pretty much going to two shot everyone. She just two shot at Vi. She does the same thing for uh, poor Caitlyn, and she does the same thing for Yasuo. So, yeah, Kale late game, if you get to this point, you should be uh, killing everyone. And notice the Void staff. Although they still don't have any MR, if they build it, it really won't make any difference because she already has the Void Staff built. So it will um, end up being uh, pretty much useless. So here they get the Inhibitor. And uh, the game's pretty much won now, but we'll have another team fight so you guys can see what Kale can do in team fights. And especially when she's ahead, it becomes really easy. She just chunks down Yasuo, and the moment she gets ulted, notice how she ults herself. So again, Yasuo and Vi completely useless, completely nullified by the Kale burst. And this is why, uh, Kale ult, sorry. And this is why uh, Kale is such a good counter to Yasuo. Every time he all-ins you or someone else, you can just ult that target and basically it'll mean that Yasuo is pretty much done because, uh, yeah, then he doesn't have many, many other moves to, to use and he'll end up dying. So yeah, here comes the surrender from Reason Gaming, and Cloud9 pick up an easy one in 25 minutes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be trying to do more of these breakdowns in the future, probably once a week if I find uh, good KL play in solo queue, or if I see the LCS and someone's playing KL and they play her extremely well. I'll try to pick up those. I can't promise like uh, a fixed schedule, but I'll try to do these as much as possible because there are many good KL players out there probably better than me and 
yeah, I hope you found that interesting. I'll try to bring also Kale vs. Yasuo gameplay if I ever get to play versus him again. But yeah, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the rift. Chakra signing out.